Hello and welcome to Pictorial Planet. My name's John Finch. Last week we looked at Easy Fixer and this week it's Easy Stop Bath. We're going to cover two stop baths, one that I actually did a video on some time ago and another one which might be better than the stop bath you're using right now. Now the first stop bath we're going to look at is the standard vinegar stop bath. Now, it uses household white vinegar. Now, this is the vinegar that you use for your fish and chips. It's this regular white vinegar that you would buy in the supermarket to use in your home, undiluted. Now, undiluted, the vinegar is around 5% acetic acid. And we need to bring that down a little bit for our films and papers. We need to bring it down to 2%. And so what I do is I just dilute this household vinegar, 400 milliliters of this to 600 milliliters of water to make our liter. So it's very straightforward and simple to do. I've got my jug here. I'm going to measure it out. Just going to pour 400 milliliters. There we are. Household vinegar, and this is very cheap to buy. I buy four gallons at a time from Amazon. It's dirt cheap. It comes in the post. It's no problem at all, and I just keep it stored away to make quick stop bath with. So I've got my 400 milliliters, and I'm going to top it up to a liter. And there we are. A little bit more. Boom. Stop bath just as easy as that. Now you can use this a few times. I think after three or four times, you want to throw it away and make a fresh one because it's not buffered. And so it doesn't keep its acidity as well as a buffered stop bath that you would buy from the likes of Ilford or Kodak. But this is perfectly good. So I'm going to put this in a bottle now and this will be my stop bath for films for the next four films. And I use another exact same solution for my papers as well. Now, some people get irritated by the smell of vinegar, and I'm not surprised. It's a very acidic smell, and it can get into your lungs if you don't have a well-ventilated darkroom. So this next one is a cracker, because this one will help you a lot if you're in that condition. And it's very safe. And what we use for this one is citric acid. It's easily bought and most countries will transport this because it's very safe and it's used, of course, in cooking and things like that. So to use citric acid as a stop bath, we use one heaped tablespoon. So I'll just get that ready. There we go. One heaped tablespoon doesn't have to be massively heaped, just a little bit heaped like that. And it'll give you 15 grams of citric acid crystals. Just pour them in there like so. And I just need to stir that up. And boom, we have stop bath. Again, just like the one I made a minute ago with the vinegar, this will last you four or five films. You can always check it with pH paper to make sure it's maintaining its acidity. If it starts to lose its acidity uh, and gets anything above uh, pH 5, then you're going to need to change it out. So just keep an eye on it with some pH papers. I've got some here. They're very easy to use. That's all dissolved now. Let's take the pH of this. So good color pH papers will give us the pH by the color the paper turns. So if I just pop that in there like that, you can see how pink that is. And this is oh, uh, probably three, pH three. Now, if it gets above pH five, then I will change this out. So there you are really easy to make, safe to use, citric acid stop bath. Thanks very much for watching. I got to say, my patrons, thank you so much, you guys. You bring this channel to everybody. Can't thank you enough. So anybody use different types of stop bath from this, 
please mention them in the comments below and I'll see you next time.